In this video, we will talk about how infection occurs in the male urogenital system. Here we see the urethral lumen. The microbes enter the urinary tract through the outer opening of the urethra, and they progressively go up the lumen of the urethra. Here we see the path of the microbes along the lumen of the urethra. The microbes enter the prostatic segment of the urethra, and then the infection of the prostate begins. The prostate consists of three main parts, the transitional zone, the peripheral zone, and the middle lobe. The peripheral zone and the circumferential zone contain the prostate glands. We will mainly focus on the prostatic glandular tubules. We show how the microbes ascend the lumen of the urethra and via the pores of the prostatic glandular tubules at the level of the prostatic segment of the urethra. The microbes ascend the lumen of the prostate glands. They reach the concave parts of the prostatic glands and that is where the inflammation begins to develop. The inflammation will then lead to the thickening of the walls of the prostate. Over time, this process disrupts blood flow, causes congestion, and traps microorganisms inside the gland. Symptoms such as pelvic pain, urinary difficulty, or sexual dysfunction often appear slowly, sometimes after years, when the damage is already established. That's why early diagnosis and targeted treatment are critical.